Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Izati and I will present about the introduction and purpose of Blue Ocean Strategy. History and Background When we think of competition between companies like Apple and Samsung or Coke and Pepsi, we think of competitors fighting to get the biggest share of the market. The companies try to outform their rival through more aggressive advertising, price war, and other tactics. But the Blue Ocean Strategy is an entirely different approach. Blue Ocean Strategy is a book that was written by W. Chen Kim and Rennie Morgan, professor at Institute European, the Administration des Affaires. The book has been published in 2004 by Harvard Business School Press. The aim for this book is to help companies to create a new market space for their business. The book also introduced a number of analytical framework and tools that help an organization's ability to systematically create and capture Blue Ocean. The expanded edition of Blue Ocean Strategies were published in 2015 and 2017 respectively. This book is the result from the study of 150 strategic moves spending 100 years and involving 30 industry. In this book, the author share about the correlations of success stories and across industry and the formulation of strategies. So, what is the Blue Ocean Strategy? Before I proceed with the explanation, I will show you a short video about one company that apply Blue Ocean Strategy in their business. Strategy. Blue Ocean Strategy is a formation of a new and unique market space for a product that makes rival become irrelevant and this will create new customer value and exploit the market by itself. It based on creating demand that is not currently in existing rather than fighting over it with other companies. The key goals are finding the right marketing opportunity and making the competition irrelevant. For the purpose, Blue Ocean Strategy helps companies to create a new market by creating innovative things and try to create such marketplace which is not discovered by the others. They make the competitions irrelevant by breaking the values cost straight off. Next, to reconstruct market boundaries to create uncontested market space with highly profitable growth, meaning that this strategy will help a business to come up with a new business idea that is not yet discovered by the others and give the business higher profit. Last but not least, it also helps companies to found systematic patterns that separate successful marketing creating strategy move from market competing strategies by introduce a new various types of blue ocean strategies too. The blue ocean state that the best way to beat the competition is to stop trying to beat the competition. Next, I will pass the next presentation to the next person. Hi, my name is Noor Afka binti Zana Abidin. Now, I would like to explain the key point of blue ocean strategy. Firstly, it is grounded in data. All aspects of Blue Ocean Strategy is using data and analytics on basis of which company used to predict future circumstances from analyzing past business trends. The data represent the company value and can be main source of its sustainability. Secondly, it pursue differentiation and low cost. The companies enter into Blue Ocean to create differentiation, a market that is totally different from existing marketplace. 
they tend to provide value to customer in low affordable cost. In addition, it creates uncontested market space. It aims to make the competition irrelevant by reconstructing industry boundaries. Instead of looking within the boundaries, companies systematically look across them to create blue oceans, new and uncontested market, space of new demand and high profitable growth. Furthermore, it empowers you through tools and framework. The Blue Ocean Strategy systematically links innovation to value and reconstruct industry boundaries. Through different data-driven tools, it provides roadmap and visual guidance to companies for systematically pursuing value innovation. Next, it provides a step-by-step -step process. It presents an alternative to the existing strategic planning process which is often criticized as a number crunching exercise that keep companies locked into making incremental improvement. Other than that, it maximizes the opportunity while minimizing risk. The Blue Ocean Index of Idea let you test the commercial viability of your Blue Ocean ideas and show you how to refine your idea to maximize your upside while minimizing your downside risk. Moreover, it boosts education into strategy. Blue Ocean Strategy boosts education into strategy from the start through the practice of fair process in the making and rolling out a strategy. Commitment, trust and cooperation are intangible capital that allows companies to stand apart in speed, quality and consistency of their education. Last but not least, it shows you how to create a win-win outcome. The win-win situation in Blue Ocean Strategy created by aligning three strategy, proposition, value, profit, and people. Good strategy content depends upon compelling value proposition for buyers and robust proposition for the organization, while strategy education is based largely on motivating people proposition. Next, we have five steps to make Blue Ocean shift. Firstly, get started. You have to choose the right place to start and construct the right Blue Ocean team. Second step is understand where you are now. You have to get clear the current state of play. The third step is imagine where you could be. Uncover what limits the size of your industry and discover the ocean of non-customer you can relate. The fourth step is to find how to get there. Systematically reconstruct market boundaries and develop alternative blue ocean opportunities. And for the last step is, you have to make your move. Select your move, conduct rapid market test, and launch your blue ocean move. Next, I will pass to net presenter, Ulya Umaira, to explain tools of blue ocean. Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Ulya Umaira Muhammad Yazam. I will proceed to present the blue ocean strategy tools. According to the book Blue Ocean Strategy written by W. Chan Kim and Rennie Mowbray, there are a total of 12 Blue Ocean Strategy, which consists of first, Value Innovation, second, Strategy Canvas, four, Action Frameworks, PMS Map, three, Tiers of Known Customers, six, Path Framework, sequence of Creating Blue Ocean, and Buyer Utility Map, Flipping Point of Leadership, ERRC grid, four hurdles to execution, and last one, fair process. So let me briefly explain a few Blue Ocean strategy tools, how they work. So firstly is value innovation. So what is value innovation? Value innovation is a pursuit of differentiation and low cost. So the goal of value innovation is to create a new demand and change the market and make the competition irrelevant, meaning that we create a new product, a different product, and introduce into a new market space, which then will create a value to both buyers and customers. Next one is Strategy Canvas. Strategy Canvas is basically to show how the company will upgrade the Blue Ocean Strategy. So there are two purposes why Strategy Canvas is implemented. The first one is to see how the current competitors compete in the current market space and to see on what factors that they're competing on. 
and the next one is to create a new demand and attract the known customer to become the a new customer in the industry so this is the example of the strategy canvas map where on the ad where on the ad set this we will put on the competing factors that the current competitors competing on so from this map at netflix is able to create the new factors which has never been offered in the current market space for example netflix make it there are programs available on devices available to watch on devices such as smartphones laptop and apple tv such as and there are uh, there are make their customers able to watch a full seasons of tv series and all so that's the function of strategy canvas pms map pioneer migrator satellite map it is a useful exercise for corporate management team pursuing profitable growth to plot their current or planned portfolios in the pms map so pms have its meaning which settlers mean me to businesses meaning we also want to join the competition the next one is migrator which mean that we offer a better value than the most in the marketplace and the last one is pioneer which has an unprecedented value than the other competitors in the marketplace so that's the as map work so our current or planned product or services will mark as circle. So the one with higher revenue, we will mark it as large circle. And the one with smaller revenue, we will mark it as smaller circle. So this is the example of PMS map. The circles in the pioneer section will have a profitable crowd as it offers an unprecedented value. So the one in the migrator section may have potential growth, however, it might be risky due to being in a competition. So that's PMS map. So that's all from me about the Blue Ocean Strategy Tools. So I will pass the next presentation to the next person. Thank you for the brilliant explanation, Umaira. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Luna Sawa Binti Jamri and today I will be explaining on the advantages and disadvantages of the Blue Ocean Strategy. The first advantage is high profit margin in the new market. This is because Blue Ocean Strategy cooperates with organizations to find uncontested markets and avoid mature and saturated markets. Since they are the only one in the business, consumers will only choose them no matter what. Eventually, there is an increase in the profit. The second advantage to the Blue Ocean Strategy is a brand could last for decades. This is because Blue Ocean Strategy creates brand equity that could last for decades due to introduction to new products that will help consumers in daily lives. The brand will last longer as long as people will still using it. The third advantage to Blue Ocean Strategy is consumers don't have to choose. This is because the products under the concept of the Blue Ocean Strategy doesn't make consumers choose between value and affordability. It is the simultaneous pursuit of differentiation and low cost theory. This is because the products under Blue Ocean Strategy is different and might only the one that offers it, which is if the consumer wants to have, they only have one choice to choose, which is from the brand itself. The disadvantages of the Blue Ocean Strategy is the first one: organization has to be smart and clear. Production of a new market is never easy because an organization has to be smart and clear regarding its customer base and ways to impart education about new ideas, new products, and new solutions. It also requires clarity about the traits of obstacles and the workforce. The second one of the disadvantages is probability of high risk. Venturing into a new market in the early phase comes with a baggage of risk. There is a high possibility that the customer might not understand the grassroots of the products and services because of the absence of a fully developed technology. The third one is difficulty to come up with new idea. It's quite difficult to come up with futuristic ideas and identity colossal and untapped markets. To come up with an idea that's interesting, refreshing, innovative and will be used by all is really hard to say. Almost everything that we need to help with our daily task is already invented. Even if we come up with something new, it doesn't really mean that people will want to use it. 
The conclusion that we can make on Blue Ocean Strategy is a Blue Ocean Strategy is a specific marketing scheme and is considered a strategic planning tool for assessing a business. It is all about devising and acquiring the uncontested market forum by spawning a new demand. Since the industry are in state of non-existence, there is absolutely no relevance of peer comparisons. The strategy backs the new demands by familiarizing unique products with advanced features that stands apart from the crowd. If there are too many people fishing in the same pool, you make a new pool for you to fish so that you can catch more fish. That is basically all about the Blue Ocean strategy. You make a new market that have no contest so that you can make more profit. That is all from us. Thank you for listening and thank you for your attention. Have a good day.